Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mikey and I'm a science undergraduate student at the University of Waterloo here in Canada. And today we're actually gonna be starting a new series on this channel. So I know a bunch of people that are actually in different medical schools in Ontario, as well as some that are actually out of province. And I wanted to see if they would be able to help me out on some videos and how they got into specific Canadian medical schools. What was their GPA? What was their MCAT score? What research did they have? What extracurriculars do they have? And what tips they actually have on getting into Canadian medical schools. And today's gonna be actually our first episode on Canadian medical schools and my sister Marina Atala is gonna be the one that's actually be going through the video so if you do find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and like down below because I make videos mainly on study tips and different tech that students can buy going into university so without any further ado let's get started with the first video Hello, my name is Marina. I'm a third year medical student at the University of Ottawa. Um, I'm going to be starting my fourth year in September. Um, and I went to McMaster for health sciences for my undergrad and I did three years of health sci and then I got into Ottawa and um, now I've just been in Ottawa for the past uh, few years. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit about um, I guess the school, my program, um, the city, and then we'll go in into you know tips on getting in, um, different academics, uh, like extracurriculars and stuff like that, um, and go from there. Um, so first things first, why do I like Ottawa? Um, well, as a city, Ottawa is, uh, as you all know, very bilingual. Um, so there's always French and English. There are lots of um, multicultural um, things going on there. I think something I really enjoy is, you know, just uh, hearing people talk in French and going to all those uh, French, like diff the different French restaurants and all the cool things there is very nice. Parliament is there. So, um, you know, as the nation's capital, there's a lot going on around Parliament, very nice scenery. And obviously Gatineau, Quebec uh, is is just a drive away, just a 10 minute drive away. So it's not it's not far. So you can always go to Montreal for the weekend. Um, you can go enjoy restaurants on the Quebec side and the food in, on the Quebec side is very good. Um, different things to do there. Um, and then in terms of my program, what's different about the Ottawa Med Medicine program? Basically, I think the biggest thing I loved about Ottawa and something that uh, I would tell everyone to um, make use of and very specific to Ottawa is the fact that in, our, in your first and second year of med school at Ottawa, you actually have days where you end earlier than others. Most or kind of half the week or a little bit more than half the week, you're, you finish around noon. And the whole reason for that isn't so that you can, you know, Ottawa is huge on wellness, so it is also for wellness but something about that that i really enjoyed was that you use that time to kind of go do electives and to explore um what type of careers you want and as someone who's very indecisive this is something that comes in very handy so you can start exploring the different specialties and the different careers um m much earlier than clerkship and clerkship starts in third year um, and I find that very helpful and actually now that I'm in third year I wish I made use of that even more than I did um, so that's something that I would highly recommend and something I love about Ottawa and very unique to um, to Ottawa the other thing about Ottawa is like I mentioned earlier they're huge on wellness and uh, in med school you'll notice that there's a lot of stressful times stressful situations um, sometimes you need to talk to someone and they always do make time for wellness and mental health and that's a big uh, big part of Ottawa's uh, um, kind of their values so that's something to keep in mind as well so now about the program and I spoke a little bit about the city so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about uh, you know campus life so in Ottawa I'm not so sure how it is at other um, medical schools but in Ottawa the medical uh, school campus is actually separated from the main campus um, and there's pros and cons to that obviously because we're separated from the main campus it's more of a um, very Everyone around you in your neighborhood is basically in medicine. Um, you're kind of always around your classmates. There's really, it's not like a student life area in the, like next to the Ottawa Medical School. It's more just regular neighborhoods um, and the school is connected to the hospital. Um, and downtown main campus is uh, because it's downtown it's a lot more lively there's a lot uh, a lot more movement going on there you find students walking around everywhere kind of like what you would see in your um, undergraduate wherever you guys did your undergrad so the, 
it's kind of like that but whereas in Ottawa when you're in med school you're kind of very separated from all of that stuff whether you find that a pro or con is kind of based on you and your personality um, so it's nice that it's very quiet but sometimes you know you're you're very separated from all the other students in the different programs and um, in medicine you'll notice there's a lot of like multidisciplinary and you're always working with other other people and um, lots of teamwork involved so sometimes like some people do like to join um, events and things with the students from main campus they'll join their intramural teams they'll uh, they'll do certain events there they'll kind of uh, you know go study on main campus and that's an option too because it's not really that far it's about a maybe like a seven minute drive from uh, the medical school campus um, so I can't really comment on what campus life is like on the main campus, but near the, uh, near the med school campus, it's just kind of a regular, um, neighborhood. <laughs> okay, and, um, just to move on, so I guess now we can also talk about, uh, what, about the program at Ottawa. So I spoke a little bit about it earlier, about why I loved Ottawa's program in specific when it came to the, uh, having those uh, times for electives and um, kind of to elaborate on that more it's not even just for electives like you can spend that time doing research you can spend that time obviously studying you spend you spend it working on um, um, like your mental health and wellness and um, it's it's very good time to use to already get that clinical experience early because as soon as you enter clerkship in third year, you start to notice that things are very different than what they were in pre-clerkship. You all of a sudden are going to see patients on your own. You're going to make decisions um, and obviously go back to your preceptors when you make those decisions, but you have to think a lot quicker than what normally happened in pre-clerkship. So it's a very different environment. Even like simple things like getting used to the hospital um, EMR and trying to understand how the hospital systems work and where the scrub machines are and where certain things are. If you went to the hospital in your first two years with the time that you were offered and you actually did electives, then that stuff makes the transition to clerkship much easier. So the Ottawa program, um, just to talk about it briefly, is a four-year program. Um, we basically have, we run from, I think, September to May in uh, first and second year and then in third year you kind of start in August and then you um, You go all the way till uh, We don't have a summer in in third year. It's just clerkship um, You're just rotating through the different hospitals um, and then in fourth year we have our elective space they the faculty gives us time to you know prep for our interviews and they also um give us time to study for our final board exam at the end of fourth year. Um, and the way that it works in Ottawa is that you have some sessions where you do um, what's known as CBL. And so CBL is where you sit in small groups. I think it's so long ago now, I can't even remember, but um, I think you do it twice a week in first and second year from what I remember. Yeah, twice a week. Um, and basically in those sessions, you kind of sit there, you discuss a case. It's about like maybe eight people in the group and from your class in a room with a preceptor. So this preceptor could be a resident physician, a staff physician, um, someone, someone different in a different field who's very highly knowledgeable about this, um, the case and what you guys are learning. So you kind of go through whatever you're learning that week, you discuss a case in your CBL sessions through the, the two sessions that happen. So you kind of, you learn, you have lectures one day and then the next day you're doing this small group session with different classmates and you run through a case. What would you do? How would you do a history, a physical exam? What type of things would you order? Investigations um, and so on. So it's very nice to have a small group session like this because of the fact that um, you can actually discuss what you learned, what you didn't understand, understand how your colleagues are thinking seeing where um what everyone else is thinking about so that is a very nice time and at the same time you have a preceptor who's sitting right there and willing to answer all your questions and willing to help out and then you have one day that's dedicated to um kind of learning about histology anatomy radiology pathology so that's also a very fun and interesting day and you do um some of those anatomy sessions in groups as well so you get to meet a lot of your classmates that way too 
Um, so I would say for the most part, it's a lot of, um, you know, like we do, it's, it's lecture style learning, but we also do have small group sessions at least twice weekly that are a few hours. So you get to discuss what you learned in lecture with a small group, with the preceptor there. So you actually, um, kind of get a bit of both, which is very neat and, uh, and very useful. So you can ask all your questions there. You learn more, more that way. Um, and it's very good in that sense. So now um, we'll talk about kind of uh, how to get into to med school or to Ottawa in specific. And I mean, I, I don't really know. <laughs> um, it's a very difficult question. I mean, you know, all, everyone who gets in has a different story and a different background and um, we all have a different profile and it's, uh, I'm not really sure what exactly they're looking for, but I could tell you kind of a little bit about me. So as you guys know, um, you apply through OMSAS, uh, which is the Ontario, um, for all the Ontario medical schools, that's kind of the way to apply. Um, getting into med school, so as I mentioned earlier, I did three years of undergrad at MAC, um, and I guess uh, in terms of GPA, what type of GPA are they looking for? I know this is a common question I get asked, and um, you know, like you'll find people in my class that uh, I'm in the Anglophone stream, so things might be different in the Francophone stream, but in the English stream, um, I'm sure like you can find people with averages ranging between maybe like a 3.8 8 or something to all the way up to a 4.0. You can obviously have people who have less, an average less, like a GPA less than that. Um, and then kind of balances out maybe with their extracurriculars or their research or um, kind of the degrees they have. Um, I would say if you're trying to aim for a certain GPA, you want to aim to have, um, you know, do as best as you can. I know like in undergrad, things can go wrong and um, I've been through that. I did not have a 4.0 GPA, I can tell you guys that. So I know it, it can be rough sometimes and it can be very hard and very frustrating um, because you work hard and then it just doesn't work out. But definitely try to work hard, try to do the best that you can. Um, try to aim for a high GPA. I, I know like you obviously want to aim for a GPA higher than a 3.9. Um, but just because your GPA might be lower does not mean you won't get in. Like I mentioned, like I'm, I, there are probably people in our class who have um, like GPAs lower than that, and that's totally fine because they obviously stand out in a different way. And um, just remember, you are not defined by your marks. So just because you may you might not have that high GPA doesn't mean that you can build your CV from a different section. Doesn't mean you can't work on your extracurriculars, your research. Um, you know, like so many people in my class do very cool and exciting things. And I think that says a lot about them more than what a GPA or a number says. So I know it can seem like that's very important and it's something that you guys, um, I was in your shoes before, so I get it. And it's something that you feel like if you don't, if you don't have that 4.0 GPA, you won't get into med school. Um, that's not true because I did not have that. Um, and yeah, I guess like my only comment when it comes to GPA is just do your best and, you know, hopefully it'll work out. Um, and at Ottawa especially, I really do feel like they look at a person beyond just the GPA and all that, uh, all the grades and all the academic stuff. They really do value extracurriculars at Ottawa. Um, and speaking of extracurriculars, I can tell you guys that I did do a bunch of different things. Um, and they weren't all like research or, you know, um, all the academic stuff I did things outside of that so um, like I was part of lots of different camps I really enjoyed um, doing that during my summers I was also part of different uh, um, you know services at my local church community so I would do a lot of things for the young kids um, and I love children so I would play around with them in whatever way I could so any extracurricular that has to do with kids basically you can find me there um, so that was the biggest thing I would say. Lots of stuff that happened at church, different camps, different uh, events, refereeing, different uh, basketball tournaments or volleyball tournaments, being part of different basketball and volleyball teams. Um, 
which was a lot of fun joining like doing the typical you know like uh the the long-term care homes volunteering and things like that is very good as well um doing outreach for the homeless is something else that i found uh, very rewarding and i really enjoyed doing um obviously you know like the typical being part of clubs at your undergrad uh, school being part of uh, like having like a leadership role in those clubs is, is very important as well and um so i always tell people to look at the canmed roles and if you don't know what the canmed roles are you can do a quick google search of them and it's uh basically like different characteristics you can find in a physician and something that i feel med schools would like to um, see in their applicants um, I'm not part of the committee and taking in applicants, so I really don't know what they look for, but I would imagine that that's something that um, they would like. And so I would always tell people my tips for lots of people is, you know, kind of look at those CanMed roles and try to have an extracurricular activity that can show that. So one of the roles is leadership. So have an extracurricular activity that can prove that you're a leader. Um, another one is being a health advocate. So help have an extracurricular activity that can prove that. And there's different ways that you can do that. And um, everyone has a different, you know, spin on, you know, advocating for health. So kind of find what's best for you. But I would say a big thing, at least for Ottawa, is I feel like they do really appreciate like well-rounded people. So try to be well-rounded in your extracurriculars. It doesn't all need to be research. Sure, maybe, um, maybe like, yeah, research is great because it, as one of the CanMed roles is lifelong learning. And, um, you know, obviously within lifelong learning, there's a lot of research involved and uh, lots of new trials and different things that come out. In terms of research, I did do research in... Um, I did do research at SickKids and I did do research at uh, the McMaster Children's Hospital um, with a pediatrician. And so again, like I, it was, I don't know, it wasn't published when I was applying, but it was on my CV and they could see that I was working on research, but it was not published. It got published while I was in med school. So I wasn't published before uh, getting in. It was all... Um, it was all uh, just, I was just working on it. So definitely, you know, work on research as well and have that as part of your CV, but it's not the only thing that'll make you stand out. Um, so I would highly recommend looking through the CanMed roles and trying to find extracurricular activities that kind of fit each role. Um, in terms of the MCAT, Ottawa, as of now, doesn't actually um, look at your MCAT scores and uh, so MCAT isn't, uh, isn't applicable to get into um, Ottawa. Some tips I would I have just in general is one for Ottawa, like they really do like well-rounded people. And I could see that a lot of my classmates and my colleagues, they're very well-rounded people, um, very smart and bright individuals. But I can tell you that uh, they're not just studying all day. Everyone has different hobbies and um, different things that they like to do on the side. So show that you're well-rounded in your CV and in your resume. I would say that's like the biggest tip I have for Ottawa. Um, other than that, uh, there's not really much more to say. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to contact me um, or find me anywhere on Facebook. Um, and yeah. Thank you.